So the final race of the Royal Meeting then is the Queen Alexandra Stakes. It's a 0 to 120 handicap over two miles and five furlongs. There's only four runners. And I have to question whether we really need this one and the one on the day one, the two long distance handicaps. No idea to get some. I think the one on the first day is a lower rate. Anyway, then there is Stormbun for Graham Clutterbuck, Validation, Joshua Sutherland, Dyer Shah and Assisted Graham Clutterbuck and Miami Craig Beckwith. I think the idea is that the one on the first day is a much lower rated one. I was only about three in that as well. They're away and racing. And Validation is the first one to show. On Denier is Stormborn. And then Miami and then Dyer Shah and Assisted. Validation pulling for its head. Wants to lead. And is happy to lead. And Graham Clutterbuck got half the field in this then. Then there is Stormborn and Dyer Shah and a sister. He likes to specialise in these long distance races but didn't quite land the gold cup yesterday. With Paul Rhodes' monster stayer. Winning it pretty easily. Graham must have been sat there thinking, oh, one year John Morgan hasn't got a good one for the Gold Cup, and it might be my Gold Cup, and Paul Rhodes turns up with that thing. So maybe he'll get some compensation with a win in this one. He's got a 50% chance anyway, and validation is clearing the lead by about 8 to 10 lengths at the moment. Daisha and her sister is second, and Eris Stormborn is third, and Miami is fourth. This is the final race of the Royal Meeting. Uh, no appearance from Leon today, he's gone to a safari park. Anyway, his validation in the lead from Dyer Shah and sister in second, then Daenerys Stormborn and then Miami at the back. And they caught past the stand. And it's been a pretty good ascot. People say I will say that because I've had quite a few winners more than I've ever had before, to be honest. But it's been interesting to see what the heavy ground did. It certainly threw some surprise results up and some pretty exciting finishes, so hopefully. Everybody had a reasonably good time. And got at least one good result. Validation is clear in the lead at the moment. Which one of these three trainers is going to take the final race of the meeting? Nobody's been doing any adding up this year. We used to do previews and things. We keep a record of who the champion trainers were at certain big meetings. I know Paul Rhodes had a lot of good winners yesterday to put himself in the mix. Darren Thompson seems to make quite a lot. And uh, I had a few as well, but I've got a feeling Darren Thompson may be the one who came on top in the end. I don't know if anybody's got to work it out or not, but... Uh, validation is the leader. From Dyer Shah and sister second. The nearest Stormwall third and Miami fourth. don't see the dual code championship anymore either so that would be quite interesting this season because Josh and Leon are still well ahead in the jumps but they're not doing so well in the flat so it's probably going to be a lot that would probably be a lot closer if it was still there maybe if Paul hasn't got time to do it somebody else can take it over but it's validation in the lead we've got a week off next week so opportunity to think about what you can do to help the league get better whether that might just be volunteering to put the statistics on the forum page and see who the leading trainer is that'd be good we need to get some more action on there I don't think anybody's posted up their feelings about the week yet apart from Paul and it's validation in the lead from Daenerys Stormborn in second Miami third and Dyer Shah and sister is in fourth so five furlongs still to go Daenerys Stormborn second Miami third, Don Shaw and sister fourth, so validation been in the lead on its own a long time, being niggled along there. And Daenerys Stormborn does look to be going exceptionally well. And if you were betting in running, that's the one you'd be putting your money on, I think. But validation has just responded to the urgings of the pilot and has kicked on again. Daenerys Stormborn is just sitting quietly in second. Now Dyer Shana's sister 
There's been a bit of a disappointment to Gray, I think. He's now starting to make a move, and also Miami as well. So we're going to get a race on our hands, I think, for the final two furlongs. And Validation is in the lead with Dyshana Sister, Miami, and now the nearest Stormborn all coming through the challenge. And the four of them are all in with a shout with four and a half to go. A furlong and a half to go, and it's Dyshana Sister who's hit the front. Dyshana Sister from Miami. Validation's now beaten. And the nearest Stormborn is looking one pace, but it's Dyshana Sister in the lead. Dyshana Sister from Miami, and Diana Shana sister he's finally going to come good and race up towards the line Dyshana sister takes the final race of the royal meeting with a pretty comfortable two length win from miami second and there is stormborn third and validation fourth so Dyshana sister pretty sure gray thought that'd be a gold cup horse when it first arrived a season or so ago it's taken the queen alexandra Big, big price. If, you got, if that was in the Lucky 63 competition, somebody will be well away. So, Diashana's sister takes it for Graham Clutterbuck, the oldest winner of the week at eight. Miami Craig Beckwith was second. Daenerys Stormborn for Graham Clutterbuck again was third. And Validation, the long-time leader for Joshua Sutherland, was back in fourth.